Hi, I am Ha from Tokyo, Japan. I'm six years old, and this is how I spend my day. Hans' morning begins with a very yummy and nutritious breakfast, and he loves eating his morning meal. While he enjoys his food, his mother gets ready for her job since her work starts in the morning as well. Usually, his father leaves early in the morning, and often he gets to eat his breakfast all by himself. Hans' school starts around nine in the morning, and he leaves home around eight. He goes to school by his school bus and also comes back home using the same transportation. When it comes to punctuality, Japanese people are second to none. That is why Hal's mom is training him to get ready and catch a school bus all by himself so that he learns to be responsible and to be punctual. goes to an international school and that is why he's very good at English. Since I'm not very good at Japanese, it was easy for me to communicate with him throughout the day as I was filming his daily routine. In Japan, elementary schools mostly start around 9 and end around 3 from Monday to Friday. However, a lot of kids also go to different academies after their school is over to improve their grades or just in general spend extra time studying and learning. So I actually made Hal's video last year as well, but because at that moment Corona situation was uh, at its peak in Japan, so I wasn't allowed to go inside his school. Uh, plus the Kuman did not allow me. But this year um, he turned six years old. Now he's in elementary school, and his school, because Corona situation is much more in control, the school gave me the permission to go inside, as you've already seen. And later you'll see in the video that we will go inside the Kuman as well. Uh, so I thought uh, make another part and show you the part that we missed last year. So I hope you guys gonna enjoy it and now it's almost three o'clock i got a cash haul um i will see you guys later bye hey ha welcome how was your school today today is my favorite day really why is that so Today I do art and I go to music class. Ooh, that's fun. After Hal gets home, he loves to have a snack time. He always eats his lunch at school. Most of the elementary schools in Japan provide lunch to the students. Lunch time is not only a time to feed students, but also a way to educate them about food and nutrition here in Japan. So Hal, I will give you a target, okay? So you say you have one, two, three, four targets, right? So let's see if you can hit target number one, okay? Oh, just a little, almost, you got it. You told me five is your time to go to Kumon. So let's go now. If you're wondering what Kumon is, well, Kumon is named after a Japanese educator called Turo Kumon. Kumon is different from regular after-school institutes or academies where typically the teacher teaches you. Here at Kumon, young learners are given worksheets to solve problems primarily related to math and reading. There are no standards or rules according to their age but what best suits their intellectual ability. Therefore, an elementary student could be solving math problems that are taught at high school in Japan. If you visit Japan, you will see this sign almost everywhere since it is very popular in Japan and a lot of kids go there after their school.
Usually, Hal's mom gets back home from work while Hal is at Kumon and while he's studying, she prepares dinner for him. Even Hal goes to Kumon by himself, his mom picks him up after he's done. That is why as soon as she gets home, she goes straight to the kitchen because of the limited amount of time. Ha's <sighs> like taking stairs and I'm really tired now. Ha, why do you do that? Whew. Oh, there you go, mommy's. Once they get home, it is time for them to have their dinner. While his mother sets the table, Hal enjoys playing with his toys and from time to time helps his mother in setting the table. In Japan, if people have time to cook, they'll love to eat rice, miso so, fish, pickle and some seaweed as a proper meal. Japanese people also love drinking tea with their food. So in case if you're visiting a Japanese friend and don't know what to buy as a present, some kind of tea would be a great option. Do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. Do you like bananas? Yes, I do. Do you like banana ice cream? Yes, I do. Right? That's yummy. Once Hal is done eating, it is time for him to take a bath. In Japan, most Japanese people prefer taking a bath over a shower. And just like any other kid, he loves to play in the water. His bath time is more like an adventure, fighting sharks and looking for some kind of treasure. Well guys, that was Hall's day. Thank you so much for watching this video today. And as I was filming Hall, I realized like how his mother wouldn't do everything for him. I know like uh, sometimes parents thinking like because their kids are young, uh, they can't do everything. They would like put food on the table. They would uh, put their dirty socks in the washing machine, make their bed. They would do everything and which leads to two things. Either your kids become totally dependent on you or they become spoiled. Where else when I saw Hal's mother, like how she treats him, like she would give him these responsibilities to complete these easy tasks, you know, chores every day. That is actually making him or helping him to become more independent and very confident. And I'm sure that that's gonna help him so much in his future. But let me know what about you guys? Was there something interesting about his day for you guys? Do let me know that in the comment section below. And please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, smile. Imagination, come take a ride inside the color.